Welcome to our Algebra 2 Spring 2021 Midterm Review, question number two. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please give a like. Make sure you catch number one so you get the review for that question as well too. Again, these videos are, help, videos are meant to help you out um, to kind of get a better idea, for, especially those who missed our review class, but also keep in mind of what the form of how things are going and what you want to show in your work, okay? So be very careful and uh, let's start. Carla wants to start a college fund for her daughter, Lila. She puts $63,000 into an account that grows the rate of 2.55% per year, compounded monthly. Write a function, C of T, that represents the amount of money in the account T years after the account is opened, given that no more money is deposited or withdrawn from the account. So the formula normally is gonna be, in this case, not use C of T, normally use A of T, but they want C of T, that's okay. C of T is equal to A sub zero initial value times one plus R over N raised to N T power. Now, how do we know we're using this here? Merely because of the fact that it's compounded monthly. The idea is that if we're compounded, um, we're compounded continuously, we use the formula for E, right? But this one's compounded monthly, where N is gonna be a number, and N is the number of times we compound a year. So let's fill in this case, our initial value, a sub zero, would be $63,000. That's the initial deposit. For R, we got substitute in here, 0 0.0255. Yes, the idea is that you know, you know, when we enter this into a formula, it will be as a percent as a decimal, 9%, <clears throat> although the same value. And the number of years, if, no, sorry, the number of times compounded yearly, if we compound monthly, it's going to be 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So our formula will be C of T is equal to 63,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12 raised to the 12 t power and this will be the answer for the first part that's the function we're going to use now afterwards we want to calculate algebraically which means we have to actually write everything out and solve this and all the number of years it'll take for the account to reach 100,000 to reach to the nearest hundredth of a year now here's the thing nearest hundredth of a year means two decimal places when we're getting that close to it and all, especially when dealing with exponents, we have to be very careful. So in the work I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage you not to round off because if you do, you know, you, you might get the incorrect answer in the rounding error and you might lose points for that. You probably lose points for the rounding error, definitely. So, so you'll see how we approach this, the same exact way you'd approach solving normally. We're solving for the unknown value T, so. We do know the C of T, the amount we want at the end, is going to be 100,000. And that's equal to 63,000 60, times 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12 raised to 12 T power. So this is our first step coming up with the equation. We're then going to divide both sides by 62,000. We want to isolate T, but to do that, we would kind of move everything else over to the other side. All right, and so these zeros divide out. Now, some of you might say, well, I got, I got a decimal. Well, I'm going to say that maybe I'll leave it in the form of 100 over 63. I'm going to let my calculator take care of everything. So now, and I'm going to leave this as, I'm not going to round off the 0 0.0255 over 12. Instead, I'm going to leave it that way. Because by rounding off to like three decimal places, I might leave off some things. Of course, that will, make, will cause the value to change, right? Now, how far off should I round off? Well, I, I might round off a little more past the four here. So, you know, in general, if I have to write all the decimals out, then, you know, I might as well write everything out like this. 
you know, up to you, but just keep in mind that, that you want to be very careful about any rounding errors. So at this point, since our since our variable is going to be an exponent here, we want to get this here. We want to now take the log of both sides. So we'll do the log of 100 over 63 equals the log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12 raised to 12 t power. Now we take the log of both sides. And you can use ln if you want to, totally fine. I, I use log, so. So you do use log both sides because in this case, we can apply the power rule for logs, which allows us to take the exponent here and move it to the front, multiplying the log. All right, so now our problem looks like this. We now have the log of, again, 100 over 63. is equal to now 12t times the log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12. You still will get t by itself, okay? Very, very important. So we'll get t by itself though. So first I'm going to divide both sides by that ginormous log situation here. So let's up a little bit here. So divide by log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12, log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12. And I go, you're probably saying, like, this is so annoying. Oh, so much work. It's not really that much work, considering in this case, you're just writing down the same thing over and over again. And you're hopefully making sure you do not have an error here. Now we're left with 12t, I'll put the 12t on the left side, is equal to log of 100 over 63 divided by the log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12, that's a 5. But we don't want 12t, we want t. So now we're going to divide both sides again by 12. So now what does t look like? This is going to be a little strange looking, right? So what's up a little bit here? So here's what t is going to look like. t is equal to the log of 100 over 63 divided by the log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 over 12 divided by 12. And that's what you're typing into your calculator. Actually, honestly, because you're doing division, divide, di dividing one thing by another by another. And it's okay. So let's grab our calculator and see to the nearest hundredth. So so we have the log of 100 divided by 63, close parenthesis, divided by the log of 1 plus 0 0.0255 divided by 12. You see, I don't have to worry about the decimals here and write everything out. Close parenthesis, divide by 12. Okay? And so here, we get 18.138, 18.138, 3, but put down in this case 18. So t is equal to, t is equal to 18.1, I think we said one, I believe we said it was 138, yes, 138. Which in the nearest hundredth, we want 18.14 years. Make sure to have the right units too. And that's how we solve the problem, okay? Yes, very involved. It seemed like a lot of work, but again, uh, and here's the whole thing here. All the 
the a lot, a lot of it seemed like a lot, but really it was just rewriting the thing over and over again. Uh, same exact steps to solve for to try to find the the uh, exponent and equation using logs. Okay, just like before. This is why it's a midterm question because we did this at the beginning of the semester. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope this is helpful. Uh, please get a chance to use this to if it helps you to get you ready for our midterm question because the question will look very similar to this one. All right. And again, uh, if you have any questions, leave, please leave in the comment section below. All right. Um, and if you like the video, if you, if you, if you thought, thought helpful, give this video a like. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will see you in the next video for our third and final question for our review for our midterm. Thanks. Take care.